Inflammatory bowel disease is a chronic condition characterized by inflammation in the gastrointestinal tract that includes two disorders called ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. Ulcerative colitis primarily affects the mucosa and submucosa layers of the colon, especially the rectum, while Crohn's disease can affect any part of the GI tract, from the mouth to the anus and impacts all layers of the bowel. The pathophysiology of IBD involves an autoimmune response leading to extreme inflammation and mucosal breakdown, allowing for bacterial invasion and further inflammation. In ulcerative colitis, the inflammation is continuous, starting in the rectum and spreading uniformly through the colon, leading to ulcerations and loss of the colon's normal folds. In Crohn's disease, inflammation leads to skip lesions, creating areas of normal bowel between inflamed regions and can cause strictures and fistulas, giving the bowel a cobblestone appearance. Several risk factors increase the likelihood of developing inflammatory bowel disease, including family history and ethnicity, with it being more common in individuals of Northern European and Jewish ancestry. It is commonly diagnosed in people aged 15 to 30 and those over 60. Environmental factors also play a role, such as living in developed countries or in cold climates. Common signs and symptoms of inflammatory bowel disease include diarrhea, abdominal pain, and systemic symptoms such as fever and weight loss. Blood and mucus are often present in diarrhea occurring due to ulcerative colitis, as well as tenismus, a frequent urge to have a bowel movement or a sensation that bowels are not empty. Blood tests may reveal anemia, elevated C-reactive protein and erythrocyte sedimentation rate, and altered electrolyte levels. Stool tests can check for inflammation and rule out infections. Colonoscopy with biopsy is the gold standard for diagnosing inflammatory bowel disease. Imaging studies like barium x-rays, CT scans, and MRIs help identify complications such as strictures or fistulas. Medications prescribed to treat inflammatory bowel disease follow a stepwise approach. Aminosalicylates like mesalamine are often the first line of treatment. Steroids may be added if symptoms persist. Nemomodulators and biological therapies are used for more severe cases. Step-down therapy, starting with potent drugs and tapering as symptoms improve, may be used for severe cases. Many medications used to treat inflammatory bowel disease suppress the immune system, increasing the client's risk for infection. Probiotics and antidiarrheals heals may be prescribed for symptom management. In some cases, surgical intervention may be necessary, such as a total colectomy for ulcerative colitis or resection of affected bowel segments in Crohn's disease. Priority nursing interventions include monitoring for signs of malnutrition, anemia, and dehydration and ensuring adequate hydration and nutrition and assessing for complications like perforation or obstruction. Nurses administer prescribed medications and educate clients on self-management of this chronic disease, including avoiding NSAIDs and dairy, caffeine, alcohol, and foods high in fat and fiber that trigger symptoms. They teach about side effects of medications that should be reported to the healthcare provider and encourage bone mineral density testing for clients taking steroid medications due to their increased risk of osteoporosis. Nurses also encourage participation in support groups and refer clients to mental health services to help address the psychological impact of living with inflammatory bowel disease. Evaluating the effectiveness of interventions is based on established patient outcomes such as reduced pain, normal stool frequency and patterns, and maintenance of a healthy weight, with adjustment of client care plans as indicated.